Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Mitsubishi ASX. The Russian versions of the ASX were equipped with either a 5-speed manual gearbox for versions with 1.6 engine or jet cool variators for cars with 1.8 and 2.0. In other markets, there were alternative options, including a diesel with a hydromechanical automatic, but we do not have such machines. Four-wheel drive is realized through an electromagnetic clutch on the rear axle. It has no temperature sensors and no feedback at all, so the error on clutch overheating, which sometimes occurs off-road, is actually a fiction. In fact, at this moment the control electronics thinks that it must be overheated. The real state is completely unknown. I must say that the clutch on the ASX is quite reliable, since the load on it is small. In the all-wheel drive system, troubles are mainly delivered by the propeller shaft and its support after 120-180 thousand mileage, and the rear gearbox sometimes sweets with oil. Manual transmissions are also very reliable, with runs over 150,000, deterioration of the synchronizer's operation, difficult sticking of the first and second gears to cold gears, deterioration of the already low selectivity of gear change drive, and rattling when the clutch pedal is released at idle speed as possible. Serious breakdowns are extremely rare. CVTs on the ASX were of three types. Initially, the car went into production with the Jetco GF011E, which underwent an update in 2012. Since July 2014, American assembled machines have received a new version of the unit, GF016E. Japanese cars, if you come across any, received this CVT earlier, from February of the same year. The variator is available with front and all-wheel drive, with the radiator or with the heat exchanger in the cooling system. Unfortunately, the Russian versions mostly came with a less efficient heat exchanger. You can understand which variator is on your car by looking at the information sticker in the driver's door opening at the trans axle point. F1CJA and W1CJA are JATCO JF011E with front and four-wheel drive. F1CJS and W1CJS are already JF016E. CVTs on the JF011E family are a good choice in terms of reliability. It is a pity that this particular series has some purely driving disadvantages in the form of very low dynamics at the moment of launch, and its operating range is less than that of newer models, which is reflected in increased fuel consumption and worse dynamics. The reliability of the design is not outstanding, but quite acceptable by the variator standard. The main problems are the wear of the pressure reducing valve of the pump and the linear pressure control valve in the valve body. More serious problems, such as wear of the stepper motor and shaft bearings, manifest themselves mainly after 200 or even 300,000 runs. Of course, if the oil in the box is changed at least once every 60,000 km. The 2012 revamp was designed to improve momentum at the start. The taper profile and machining quality have been improved and the belt contact surfaces have become more flexible. Machines with motors 1.8 and 2.0 relied on belts with 10 belts Bosch 901066. When bulkheading the variator, they usually put a strictly reinforced version with 12 belts. This was in stock on cars with 2.4 motors, which are not represented in Russia. This allows you to significantly reduce the requirements for the quality of hydraulics. It is the problems with oil pressure that are usually prerequisites for accelerated wear of the belt and cones. A timely control of the oil pressure, as well as minor repairs to the valve body and pump, can extend the life of the belt to an impressive 300-400 thousand km. Pressure and temperature control can be carried out with the free versions of the CVT Z50 utility. Using a simple ELM327 adapter, dealer scanners are not necessary for this. Additional measures to extend the life of the variator for the most prudent are the installation of the reinforced Zonex pressure reducing valve, as well as the in external filter and radiator. The design of the newer JF016E variator, which appeared in 2014, is not optimized at all in the direction of increasing reliability but in the direction of reducing fuel consumption, increasing dynamics and at the same time making the design cheaper. The main change is in drive hydraulics. All solenoids are now linear in it and the same this made is possible in particular to get rid of step motor. The changes made it possible to use the torque converter lockup slip mode over a wide range. The structure was threatened on the one hand and lightened on the other. It turned out ambiguous. The CVT is much better at mids and lows for a better driving experience. On the other hand, already known problems began to appear more often at a lower mileage, especially in CVTs manufactured before 2016-17, after which the manufacturer slightly tightened the settings, reducing the acceleration dynamics, but thereby ensuring the increase of the design resource. 
All problems with oil pressure in the oil pump bearing and belt wear have not gone away. Only now, instead of replacing the $30 step pump, you need to change the entire valve body assembly. It's not being repaired. With light, flushing and purging is possible, but it's almost impossible to calibrate the valve body after repair, even with a dealer scanner. In the spirit of the times, the gas turbine engine actively contaminates the oil during intensive acceleration, and it finishes off the oil pump and burning faster. The price of an average repair has grown due to more expensive components. In short, the new CVT turned out to be less resourceful and more troublesome, but somewhat more comfortable for the driver. Engines 1.64892 have an unpleasant tendency to cock piston rings and the manifestation of an oil appetite already up to hundreds of thousands of mileage. Also, oil alteration can be caught even with a sufficiently large supply of oil in the crankcase due to the specific design of the oil intake. At the same time, the motor is conventionally configured and if you do not take into account its oil loving, is reliable. It's rarely found under the hood of the ASX. It was installed only on the basic configuration and only with the manual gearbox. The most common engine for the ASX is a 1.8 liter 4V10. Less often, the 2 liter 4V11 comes across. The motors belong to the same series and the differences are only in the piston group. Here, an aluminum block of cylinders with cast iron liners, a timing chain drive phase regulators distributed injection. It is a product of the GEMA alliance and the engines are siblings of the Hyundai Kia Theta series. Cylinder seizure on Mitsubishi unlike Hyundai related ones almost never happens and an oil pump with balanced shafts works more reliably than that of Koreans. Oil appetite begins to grow at 200,000 km or more and oil change intervals of 15,000 km. With more careful maintenance, the engines easily step over the 350,000 bar before overhaul. They are repaired easily and inexpensively. The main thing, do not forget that the wells need to be regulated here, many owners neglect this. On this information about the problems of Mitsubishi ASX is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.